So you need to know how to install Windows. I'll show you. Hey guys, it's Chris with Tech5. Today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to install Windows 10 on your new PC. Now, if you guys have been following the channel, you know that I just recently did a PC build, and we're gonna actually be using that PC to go ahead and install Windows and show you guys how to do that. So you guys are getting an authentic look on how you actually do it. Brand new PC, it's never had an OS on it, and I'm gonna show you guys how to put an OS on a new PC. So for this method, you will need two things. You will need a flash drive that has at least eight gigabytes of memory, and you're going to need access to another computer, whether it be a laptop or a buddy's uh, PC, whatnot, because we're going to have to create a media tool so we can put Windows on this new computer. So let's get in now to do it. All right, guys, so like I said, you will need another PC, like a laptop of some sort to actually perform this method. So uh, after you've got your USB drive, make sure it's plugged in and we can get it going. So plug it in, should pop up, let you know that it has detected the device depending on what OS you're actually performing this method on. So you plug that in, then you're gonna type in Windows 10 Media Creation Tool. Should be the first one that pops up. You'll click that link there. Now. This page is what you're going to see here. Now we are creating a media tool, so we are going to download the tool. So you'll go ahead and do that. It is now getting a few things ready for us. So there's going to be a few times that jump ahead because it just does take that that long. I'm sure y'all don't want to watch it just loading. So. I'll save you all the trouble. All right, so when that's done, you're gonna actually click Create Installation Media. So we'll click that, then say Next. Then we're gonna go with the recommended settings. We'll just click Next again. We are doing a USB flash drive. So, and it does need to at least be at eight gigabytes. It tells you that there. So make sure that the USB you've plugged in is at least eight gigabytes. So. It'll detect it. You'll say, yes, that's the one. Confirm it. Next. And it'll begin to download Windows 10 to it. And off we go to the next step. Okay, so that step is finished. That's probably the one that takes the longest out of all of it. Um, so now what we're going to do, we're going to click finish. So now we need to make sure that we safely eject it so we don't corrupt the windows. So we're going to go ahead and go to our file explorer. I'm gonna go down to where it is. This is the right drive. So I'm gonna right click on it and I'm going to tell it to eject. And then we can pull it out. So quick voiceover because audio just was trash. So we're gonna take that USB that we made with Windows 10 on it and we're gonna plug that into the PC and if you've already turned on the PC, we're going to go ahead and need to restart it. Now, because there's no OS on this thing yet, you're going to want to go ahead and hold the button till it shuts off and turn it back on. Now, from there, you're going to have a screen that pops up, uh, usually showing the brand of motherboard that you're using. And it should give you a little key shortcut to say uh, how to get into the BIOS or run BIOS setup. And whatever key that is, you're going to need to push that. Usually delete works, but some other boards don't always use that, so just make sure you use that key. We're going to get into the BIOS from there. So you should be at the BIOS screen, you should be at the main portion here, and at the top you can usually see the tabs. We're going to be looking for something that says something to do with the boot sequence. So when you do see a boot, we're going to go ahead and go over to it, and here's where we're going to select the order of things. The, we want to tell it to boot from the USB that we just plugged in. So you're going to select that USB, whatever it is, tell it to boot from that on the first option, and then whatever drive you plan on uploading the uh, OS to, you're going to go ahead and select that. And then from there, you should be able to exit. Now when you do exit, you're going to want to make sure you save the settings and then exit. So once you've clicked yes, it will go ahead and start to restart the computer. And as you can see here, 
now it's starting to use or read the drive that we've set the boot sequence that we've set in place for it it's actually going to use that order so if it's all working correctly you should start to see a screen pop up letting you choose to install windows now so after everything's worked out right you should be able to click next here and tell it to install windows now now when this little screen pops up here we do not have a windows key so you're going to say that i don't have a product key then you're going to click on windows 10 home click next accept the terms click next again and we're going to actually click the custom now from here you're going to select whatever drive you're going to want the os on if you've got multiple drives in your pc and then you'll just simply click next so we're going to just go ahead and let this go ahead and do its installation. Now it may take a little bit and it may do a couple of restarts and that's okay. But once you get to this screen, you're looking good. We're ready to set up windows. You'll just follow the prompts, set this up. You may possibly have to create a outlook account or a Microsoft account if you don't already have one. And then there you go. You now have windows. So I do want to let you guys know that there are more PC builds coming to the channel. The issues that I had with the last one have been addressed, so this one will be much better this time, I promise. So just a quick preview of what's coming. The next build that's coming to the channel in about a week or so is going to be an entire setup. I'm talking monitor, keyboard, mouse, headset, all of it. And I got this for around 600 bucks. And the crazy thing about it is this isn't a pushover PC. This is a pretty decent one. You might want to stick around and catch this one. So if you're not subscribed, go ahead. You might, you're going to want to see this. It's pretty interesting. I'm fairly shocked myself, to be honest with you. Now, you guys know I have to give some appreciation and shout out my Patreon. You guys are amazing. I appreciate you so very much. I appreciate the support. I really, really do. I thank you. I promise. I am so grateful. Now, if you're a subscriber, I appreciate you as well. I appreciate you being part of the family and joining the vibe. If you're a viewer and you've made it this far, I thank you too. It helps. It truly does. So thanks. That's going to do it for the video. As always, if you do have any other questions, concerns, confusions, whatever it may be, don't hesitate to ask. I don't mind helping. I really don't. Now, I'm really trying to build something for you guys here, and I hope y'all want to be a part of that. A simple like, a share, a subscribe, a comment, they go so far for this channel. It really helps me continue to grow and make content. The competition is steep out here, guys. If there was something that you didn't like, thought I could have done better, whatever it may be, feel free, leave a thumbs down. I just ask you to let me know what it was so I can continue to improve and do better. I believe in that and I would like to do that. I can't do better if I don't know what I'm doing wrong. So let me know, please. With that said, I hope you can like, I hope you can subscribe, and if not, well, I hope to catch you in another one. And remember, it's a vibe, a tech vibe, specifically. We'll see you.